I know this is a little bit far afield perhaps, but I had an incident happen recently where a former employee, uh, a, a, uh, something of a competitor in our industry, uh, decided to lift a piece of my work. And I don't know if you saw the last Sunday night email where I wrote about your MQ, your memorability quotient, and how having a high level of integrity can really boost your MQ. Uh, this former employee thought it would be appropriate to take a piece of my work and repurpose it and make it his own. Uh, I was fortunate enough that I saw it and I called him out on it, but if I'm being perfectly honest with you, it incensed me. I was livid. I was livid because, well, anybody could have done it and I would have been livid, but I was livid because this is someone that I actually hired. This is someone I gave their first wholesaling job to and now he thought it would be appropriate to uh, borrow my work. You know, when you think about your MQ, your memorability quotient, there's certain things that you can do, like your word of honor. Do what you say you're going to do when you say you're going to do it. Or integrity, which is a kissing cousin of word of honor. Or urgency. Or rectitude, which means do the right thing. See, these things help build your memorability, but you don't need a SEMA designation, although you might have one and that's great. You don't need to be a CFA, although if you have that designation, that's awesome. You don't need to have a master's degree. These things that you can do because the bar has been set so gosh darn low today, these things that you can do to build your MQ, your memorability quotient, are small but significant. So as you make your way into summertime, I do want you to remember this whole notion about integrity, using your PVP virtually everywhere that you can, and not letting your foot off of the sales accelerator as you make your way through what allegedly are the summer doldrums.